Hey folks, let me show you how very quickly you can change the start block of a subql query. What I've done so far is I've initialized a subquery project. I've accepted the defaults you can see here. I've then gone into the block height directory and I've run yarn to download all the dependencies first of all. Then I've gone ahead and run yarn cogen and then I've built the project. So next I'm going to spin this up in Docker first of all. I'll pull the image first and then I'll go ahead and run Docker. Now while this is running in the background, let's go and take a look at the code first of all. You can see here in the block height project. In my project YAML file, you'll see that I've got a start block equal to one. And when the project starts running, you'll see that I'll start indexing the block from one. There you go, it's fetching block one to 100 in batches of 100. So what we want to do is actually, let's stop this by hitting control C. We want to change this to say a million. Let's save that. Now, how do I know to use a million? I mean, it could be 10 million, for example. The best way to know is to go to pokerscan.io and you'll see here the actual block height of mainnet. And it's under the finalized block. So I know that I can go up to at least 5.8 million blocks. But what I'll do is let's just go to 1 million for now. And then if I go ahead and rerun, so let's go Docker Compose up. I won't have to regenerate anything because it's just reading from the project YAML file, which is just like a configuration file. Now what you should notice is that this won't work. You, you should get an error. There you go. It's trying to fetch this block range and it shows an error that it didn't find any data source to match. Now the reason why we're getting an error is because we've already started synchronizing at a specific block number and changing it halfway through doesn't work. To get around this error, what we actually need to do is let's stop this, control C again. Let's then go into our data directory. So this is a hidden file and this folder, we actually need to delete it. This is where all the block information is actually stored on your local hard drive. So now that I've deleted that, let's go ahead and rerun the Docker container. And here you can see the node has started and the block size is starting from a million. So there you go. You can change the starting block by going into the project YAML file and do remember to delete the data folder as well.